Warning, this video contains bright flashing lights that could affect photosensitive viewers. This is Fish. It's a game that I released in March of 2021. Being a rhythm game, it needs a rhythm system to work. This is how the Fish rhythm system works. Actually, no. A more accurate title would be Why the Fish Rhythm System is Terrible. Now, you might be saying, Tim, what are you talking about? Fish is a great game. I loved it. I would recommend it to friends and family, and I would definitely go buy it right now. And I couldn't agree with you more. But with that being said, the underlying system is pretty terrible, and I should know because I made it. Now, I should clarify that the actual system does work pretty well in the game. It's the process of being able to create levels that it is terribly unoptimized, and I ended up having to do a lot of extra work that I wouldn't have had to do had I made it a different way. So, first let me show you how it works. The rhythm system is actually in the game. It's just off camera, so you shouldn't be able to normally see it unless I have the camera zoomed out like this. The white bars here are the cues, and the bars below are the hits, which are the ones actually responsible for determining if your input was successful. I'm going to play this clip now so you can see what it's actually doing in the game. All right, now I can explain how some of this works. Let's start with this bar that you may have noticed. Anything in the green is a hit, anything outside of it is a miss, but you get different scores based on which color the hit was when you clicked your mouse. Now I'll play this clip again. I think that should now give you a good enough understanding of how this actually works in the game. I now want to show you the difference between this level, Exit 404, and Upstream Overpass, the level I showed in the intro. Upstream Overpass was created later in development, and there are a few differences here that you may notice. The first is the purple square here, that's the cue for the swordfish, which is not in Exit 404. Then there's this white bar here, and what this does is when a cue collides with it, it will spawn a corresponding hit. If you notice, the hits on the left here are already in the scene, whereas on the right, they get spawned in. And then there's this blue rectangle here, and what this does is when a hit collides with it, it sets a value that the rhythm system expects. Let's say that this is hit 1. It's not, but just pretend it is. If the rhythm system expects hit 1 to be there, and that hit is within this bar, and the player inputs the hit, it will work. And now the rhythm system expects the next hit to be 2. But let's say for some reason that this is hit 3. Then the rhythm system will not register this input, which means all of the hits have to have values in the exact order, otherwise they will not work. And that is what that blue rectangle is for, so I don't have to manually set them. Which means, yes, I had to manually set every value of every hit for each level that I made before I figured out that I could use the rectangle. Now, if you think that's bad, don't worry, it gets worse. Not only did I have to manually set every value of every hit, but all of these cues and hits on this level, they are game objects in the scene that I had to copy and paste and adjust the transforms for. And on top of all of this, I had to set every value of every hit to correspond to the correct fish, of which there were three of each. And on top of that, I manually calculated the offset of each hit from each cue, which is different for each fish. And that is why the fish hit system is terrible because I had to do a lot of work that I could have just automated. Thankfully, I have come up with better solutions to this. I've been working on a separate project called Bird, although I haven't worked on it in a while, and that system is much easier to make levels with, because instead of game objects, I use an array of float values. 
but I still think that I could do better. If I make fish too, well, honestly, it's a pretty much a when, I have an idea where I could use an array of integers, one per quarter beat, that would determine when a fish gets actually spawned in. So then I could get the binary from each int, and if it's a one, spawn the correct fish, and if it's a zero, don't. I think this is great in terms of storage, especially since I really want to make a level editor if I were to make fish too. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please consider uh, liking it. And if you haven't already subscribed, um, please consider doing that.